Let's show him, Paul. Like, you want to show him? Well, look what happened. Right, Paulix? Hey, y'all. Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. My name is Renee. You all know Paulix. There are some big things happening in the Hayden house today. Big things happening in my house that are, are going to affect Paulix. Our Christmas tree is being delivered today. This is a really big deal. This is something I've been talking about all year long. I cannot wait to see Pollux's reaction to our Christmas tree. If you've been on my channel before, you know that we adopted Pollux last year, the day after Christmas. So he's never seen a Christmas tree, never been around a Christmas tree, and we get a live, lighted, and flocked Christmas tree every year. It's beautiful, it smells so good, and it's being delivered today. Well, here's the dilemma. Look at this bed. Something went down today while I was at the ice cream shop, and Pollux's bed has been ripped open. This is Pollux's bed. Let me get the toys out of here. Octopus, chicken, dinosaur, oh my gosh, rope. Ooh, bone, peanut butter, but look. Right, Pollux? I mean, what in the world? This happened today. He finally has ripped open the edge of his bed. Pollux comes in here and he sucks on this little trim on the bed and I think it just finally pulled open today. Mm-hmm. Our Christmas tree is being delivered this afternoon. And here's the problem. Where Pollux's bed sits in the living room is where our tree goes. I was going to have to move his bed to put up our Christmas tree. Well, since the big rip in the bed happened, I've decided, gasp, I'm going to throw away his bed. I'm hoping in all the confusion of the tree and all the things, like we have to rearrange two of our couches. This is only a bed that he lays in when he plays. It's a toy holder. It's his his thing keeper. It is his play bed. It is his pacifier. He gets in here when Maxie's eating, and like I said, he sucks on the edge. Um, it's not really even a bed. It's just a boat. It is his play thing. So he's going to get in there with his toys. Breck and I are getting ready to move some furniture. I'm waiting on the Christmas tree. When Randy gets home tonight, we will set up the tree. It's already lighted and flocked. It's going to be beautiful. And then I am dying to see Pollux's reaction to this tree. Now what are you tearing up? The dinosaur, buddy? I want to show you Pollux's birthday bone. If you all watch this happy birthday video, his second birthday, I got in this cute little bone. <laughs> he followed me with the pig. <laughs> Today is the end of the bone. Look at this. This is the bone. Like, there's no stuffing left to pull out. It is a rag, and it's time to go. It's so sad. It was his birthday bone, but this is going in the trash along with this bed, and shh, just don't tell him. Yesterday, Mooey had on his cute red shirt. He went in the backyard. It had been raining, and he rode in the mud. Didn't you, Moo? You rode in the mud. So his shirt got muddy. It had wet leaves on it. Mama had to take it off. And the only clean one was this orange. If you all watched Maxie's fashion show video where I showed you all of his new t-shirts, I don't think he loves this orange one. <laughs> But it's all that was clean. He he forced it on me. I had to put him on him because all of his other shirts were dirty. As much as we hate to do it, Mooey says, I think we're going to do it. Pollux is outside. It's time for their dinner. So I think now's the best time for me to get rid of the bed. I don't want to do it while he's in here watching me. That's cruel. Okay, let's get rid of the bed while Pollux isn't looking. All right. Time to go. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put all the toys right over here. I think I'm going to put some of these other toys. Like there is no stuffing left in that. I think it's just time to go away. Um, there's some peanut butter. Look at all this stuffing that was under the bed. That one's empty. 
Oh, that's, this is new. He just got that. I'm going to throw these away with the bed. This is so funny. So many memories in this bed, I feel like. Here we go. To the trash. All right, let's see what Pollux does when we let him in for dinner. Come on. Oh, there he is. And the bed's gone. Let's see what he does. Hey, Pollux. What you doing? Hey, what went on in here? Do you know anything, huh? Okay, good. <laughs> You're just worried about dinner time right now? So Pollux normally gets in his bed while Maxie eats. God, what are you doing, no Moo? Are you playing with a bone? <laughs> Apparently it's playtime. He is tearing up that bone. Look at him. He's got anger. Issues. Is it anger because I put this orange shirt on him? <laughs> what is it? Are you angry at me, Moo? You don't like it? <laughs> He did go rolling the leaves today, but he's done it every day. Oh my, look at this. Are we waiting on the Christmas tree? They're on the way, they just called. We're so excited. What is it, Moo? Is our tree here? Let's see. Our tree here. Let's look. Watch out. No, no, no. You can't go out there. No, no. Oh, Moo, you want to see it? What the heck? Oh. Um, no, Pollux. 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 Oh, Pollux. Hey. Hey. Inside. Uh, 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 uh. Pollux. Pollux. Okay, anyway. Here's our tree. Looking at Maxer. He's like, why can't I go out there and see it, though? Pollock's in the window, looking. Pollock's got loose a minute. A Just a minute. Run. He got a little run, a little stretch of his legs. All right. I can barely get out my house. <laughs> okay, go. You and Dad. Ooh -wee. It's tall. Oh. You got it? She's going down. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Go, B, go. Don't shove me down. <laughs> of this. Don't cut a limb off. Look at that. You smell it? Oh, I smell it. smells. What is it, Pollux? Pollux's Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about it? You want to smell it? Yeah. You should go smell it good. You can get snow in your fur. Maxie's underneath it. Oh. So this is our tree, guys. 
for the past, I don't know, several years, we get a live tree. So it's a family business here where we live. They cut down the trees, they light them, they flock them. Like you can do colored lights, white lights, how heavy of ever flock you want, but this is what I love. The tree is set up. Yes, I know it's crooked. <laughs> We got to leave it alone for a couple days. The branches will start to fall as the tree relaxes. But once the tree settles, then we'll decorate it. The people put a wood stand on it and it has a watering thing, which I filled up just now. And we keep the plastic wrapped around the bottom. So when the tree is dead and it's time to take it down, we just lay it down, wrap it in the plastic and out it goes. And it is just beautiful just needs a couple days to settle down. He's really checking out the tree. If y'all have never had a live Christmas tree, it smells so good. The smell, oh my gosh, of the pine is just so, it's just Christmas. That is one of the reasons I absolutely love having a live Christmas tree. There will be more videos. We're not gonna decorate it for a couple days. It just needs to sit, it needs to fall, it needs to do its thing. We gotta move this chair out of here because uh, you know all of our stockings and all these things. And so we're gonna decorate this weekend. That will be another video. I just wanted you to see Pollux getting his first Christmas tree, checking it out. How was he gonna react? And we got rid of his bed. What do you think about it, Pollux? Do you like the tree? Well, hi. Hey, Baxter. Fox is checking out the tree. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go watch him check out the tree? <laughs>